So the project I'm starting today is a uh, facelift or a makeover on a bathroom. They want Wayne's coating that goes up fairly high, um, like five feet high, all the way around the room with a little chair rail on top of it. So I've got the uh, lights rerouted, found enough slack in the wall, didn't even have to make a junction. I'm still working on the uh, Pinterest bathroom remodel and I've just started working on the countertop. I picked this piece up um, as well as these other three over here at a sawmill. This is maple and these are cottonwood. Uh, these won't be going in the, the bathroom but this will be. Um, it's kind of got a natural bow here. This is where the vessel sink is going to sit. So right now I'm just getting it sanded with 120 and going to start putting the wood conditioner on.
This side's going up against the wall, so I'm going to use a deck screw in at an angle. Something like that, you can see. Today I need to make a leg for the countertop. Uh, on the other side it's going to be put into the corner of the room. So I'm going to be making a hairpin leg. Going to be, it's uh, going to be a little bit heavier duty than your standard hairpin. Uh, this is going to be made out of 304 stainless steel and 3 8 inch uh, rod. And we're going to do, um, there's going to be three pins.
this fits. I call this the Pinterest bathroom makeover because a customer got her design ideas from Pinterest. The beadboard going high up on the wall, the live edge countertop, vessel sink, and hairpin leg were all found through searching Pinterest. The only issue I had on this project is the high gloss dark paint that went on the beadboard. It's so shiny you can see reflection in it. I started with one coat of tinted primer and then it took three more coats of high gloss paint to get 100% coverage. Please leave a comment with any questions about this project. Also, tell me what you think of the design. Do you like the vessel sink on the Live Edge countertop? Subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more DIY videos.